Build Your Dreams Atto 3, a brand new concept by this Chinese manufacturer. It comes in three different variations and this is the top of the range design. I'm Duncan Vincent and this is the Arnold Clark YouTube channel. Remember guys, like and subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you never miss an upload from us. The BYD Atto 3's front end is one of its real appealing features. Now, can you see a cartoon dragon? Can you see the resemblance, the way the headlights angled, the bar across the front here, and because it's Chinese, the mythical dragon front end is very much there. It's also very aerodynamically friendly. That will cut through the air on any motorway driving or any commute that you happen to do. LED headlights come as standard and it's got a front light bar all the way across there. One of the cool things I like about the headlights, if you have a look inside, little blue features just below the beams. Proper cool. The Atto 3 side profile is pretty sleek and slender. There's not too much to be shouting about here. This is the charging door here, inside charging points. There is a vehicle to load in this car, it comes as standard. And as you make your way down the side of the car, well, it's nice. There's not too much that wants to jump out at you until you get to the roof. Nice chrome roof bars and a huge sunroof in this design model. The back of the car has a nice big aerodynamic spoiler. And then we have the talking point. Build your dreams. I like it. It reminds me a little bit of race cars I've seen in the past and current Formula One cars. Powered by Honda, powered by whatever. Build your dreams. It's going to be a bit of a pain to keep clean with the sponge in there, but what do you guys think? Like or hate? Put it in the comments for us, please. Do you like it or do you not like it? The boot. Double push on the button, opens up, gives you 440 litres of space inside. Inside the BYD, this is where it... Sorry, again? What's the yoga pose of the day? I see my Alexa tells me that. Once we get inside the actual car, this is where it kind of comes alive. Remember I said there wasn't too much to shout about outside? Well, there it is in here. First of all, the dashboard makes me think a little bit like Finding Nemo. It feels like we're under the sea, possibly in a bit of a clamshell. It's a little bit strange. And I also hear that the interior layout is kind of gym orientated. You've got what is meant to be a kettlebell, some free weights, and possibly even a treadmill idea here. Don't get me started about the door bars. I think that's some sort of leg machine. But what is good about the inside, these seats are so incredibly comfortable. A small dashboard with just exactly what you need. Not too much information, just perfect. We then come to the main instrument panel. It is absolutely huge. In my mind, it's just that little bit too big and it rotates as well. Once you have it upwards, I just think it's a little bit too big for the car. That's for sat nav, they say, and down on its side is for everything else. Apart from that, I think everything here is pretty cool. As I say, comfortable seats, good driving position, the pedals feel good, the steering wheel feels comfortable, and there's even a couple of vanity mirrors with lights on either side for you. USB ports down the bottom, there's a selection. You've got the standard USB, USB-C, and there's even a memory card slot that you can go in down there as well. Big bin inside here, gives you plenty of space to store stuff, and in the glove box as well, it's sizable, so you don't have to have anything rolling about the back. The door handles are on top of the speakers here. Now, if we open the door, this is where something else is pretty cool. There's some strings down here, and it almost looks like a bass guitar and you can play a tune. Should you want to. The driving console itself down here has quite a few switches on it and one of the main switches is for the mode of the car. These cars come with three modes. There's Eco, which we're in just now, there's Normal and then there's Sport. When you go into Sport mode, you actually get the red stripe across the bottom of your screen as well. And you can also change how much regeneration comes from the car as well when you lift off the accelerator pedal on the switch just next to it. Isofix is all round in this car and in the back as well, plenty of leg room for your passengers and there's also USBs there as well. And remember earlier on we mentioned the panoramic sunroof, Woo! plenty of space there, just enough time and fun for spring break. So that's talking about the inside of the BYD, now let's take it on the road and see what she's like. If 
First impressions driving the Atto 3. It's quite nice, very civilised. Let's see what the brakes are like, down to the traffic lights. Traffic lights are at red, let's hit the brakes. Yeah, they're okay, they're not too bad. Big dive from the front end there as we came up towards the traffic lights. Hit the brakes hard, the front end really disappears down in towards the road. Quite a, quite a soft suspension in this car. Quite a bit of movement as well, so it should be good for the roads that we're going to go on, the country roads, but time will tell. The range on this car, they reckon you will get 261 miles out of a battery and it should charge from 30% up to 80% and then 29 minutes on your standard charger. 261 miles, that's a decent range actually. And obviously that will go up if you're in about town and not using it for motorway travel. Dead stop at the traffic lights in eco mode, accelerate away hard, it's relaxed. There's not an urgency there, but it by no means is dull, put it that way. Even in eco mode, the car still wants to go. We're getting very close to where we want to be now, so it's probably best that we rotate the screen and use our sat nav. So let's give it a shot and see if we can do it through a voice command. Hey BYD, rotate the screen. That's pretty trick. Country roads are calling and we're about to go up a hill now. So this is a big long climb out the back from where we are. So this will see exactly what it wants to do going up hills. Already a little bit of torque steer there on a damp road as we accelerate hard out a corner. And it just feels, well, basically I said earlier on, it is definitely built for comfort and not for speed. Tight here and bend turn it in, get on the gas nice and early. Little bit of wheel spin, little bit of scrabbling for grip there. And up the hill we go. She pulls well up the hill, let me tell you that. She goes very well up here. So that's not to be sniffed at. And we've reached our car park, our final destination. And we gave it a pretty damn good razzing up that road. There we go, we've done the road test on the BYD Atto 3. Tell me in the comment box, do you like it? Do you agree with what I'm saying? If you want to find out more, well, go and visit your local Arnold Clark showroom. And why not follow us on YouTube? Like and subscribe. I've been Duncan Vincent. Thank you very much. This has been the Arnold Clark YouTube. This is the BYD Auto 3.